Well, welcome once again to the Waters and Stanton video channel. And a question which several people have asked, and I know a lot of others wonder, how do I get balanced ladder line through a brick wall? I mean, do I drill two holes? Do I drill a whacking great big hole like that? Well, there's another option which I have used for a long time, very successful, and you only need a small hole. Let me show you. If you're using ladder line, you'll probably feed in a doublet, but anyway, you need to get it indoors. If you use a four to one ballon, then you've got a good termination for the balanced line. Now, on a balanced line, the loss is extremely low. You'll certainly have some sort of VSW, or maybe a significant VSW on that ladder line, but it doesn't really matter because the loss is neg negligible at HF. So you put it onto the ballon. Now the other end, cable, that goes into an ATU, an antenna tuning unit, or an antenna matching unit for those that are really pedantic. There will be VSW on there, VSWR on there, and it could be quite high. But you're only going to have a short length of coax cable going from that to your internal um, antenna tuner. So any VSWR on that cable is going to be insignificant in terms of losses, provided your antenna matching unit, your antenna tuner, can match that reactance, that impedance that it sees, then it'll be fine. You could have a six or seven to one VSWR on that coax cable and the losses would be insignificant on say, I don't know, uh, two or three meters of cable. Unfortunately, a lot of internal ATUs on transceivers won't match that sort of impedance, that sort of reactance. Um, I did do a uh, little video on uh, tuners about uh, three or four weeks ago, and you have a look at that, that might give you some idea of what uh, you could use. But you'll always need an antenna matching unit when you've got balanced line anyway, put that outside, carry its cable through the wall, and just go straight into the unbalanced socket on, on the antenna tuner, let it match it. It's that simple. I'm just gonna show you now a close up of the um, uh, MFJ uh, 912, uh, 912, yes, 912, and uh, you can see for yourself. It's, it costs a few pounds, but it's a great investment. It's totally weatherproof. It'll last you for years and it will handle a kilowatt. Now, one other thing I should mention is that um, the kites cable you use from there to go indoors should be substantial. I, I suggest absolute minimum of RG213 um, because you're gonna have a significant PSWR on that cable. But um, that will handle several hundred watts, no problem at all. That will handle, I think, certainly a kilowatt anyway, so you're not going to burn that out. So that's how I get my ladder line inside. In fact, I don't get the ladder line inside, but I get the signal inside. There we are. OK, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please remember to press subscribe and uh, be ready for the next up and coming video. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your ham radio. Take care.